Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. What's the most amazing thing at Christmas? A perfect Christmas tree. Absolutely. This year, I think we've really, really topped it. I say that probably every year, but this year it's just incredible and looks just stunning. On an evening, I find myself just staring at our Christmas tree and literally it just takes me away into thoughts from Christmas's past and what's going to be happening this year. I absolutely love Christmas, as anybody who knows me will know. I literally stress and worry about if everything's perfect and if everything's OK, including the tree. I'm going to be attaching a little bit of a clip around my favourite tree of ours. And I say my favourite tree. We actually have four this year, three in our dining room and the main ground one in our lounge. Now, usually every year it's my mum which actually decorates our tree. And you, it sounds strange, but usually she does our Christmas tree amazingly and then I've kind of put a few things on at the end but this year we've done it together and it's just incredible and it's absolutely lovely and it's always a treasured memory of mine. Of course decorations and styles of Christmas trees change as years go on by and as Christmases become a little bit different for everybody. This year absolutely completely different for my brother with his newborn baby Sienna but for me it will be really really amazing of course to celebrate that but to kind of bring down a year which has been a mixture of emotions, lots going on, lots positive, but of course those up and downs at the start of the year. Now, Christmas is absolutely incredible and the perfect Christmas tree really, really sets the scene off. I always find when you have people around, your family, your loved ones, it's the main topic of the conversation. In my family, my brothers, we usually end up sort of having a little bit of a battle about who decorates their tree in a different style, how it looks. A little bit of competition is always healthy, but at Christmas more so. I have to admit, it's one of my favourites. Christmas tree. Real or artificial. However we do it, everybody has their own personal way. Mine, I think, is absolutely beautiful. I say mine, probably my mum's, <laughs> and then mine towards with my bit of uh, my sort of amendments touches on it towards the end. But as I say, we've done it together, which means the absolute world to me. Why not have a look? Let me see if I can attach that for you. I certainly will. It's the most wonderful time of the year. The perfect tree in the perfect setting. Lovely mantelpiece, fire roaring. Ebenezer Scrooge, the Christmas Carol on the TV. All I need is a mince pie and a glass of mulled wine. Perhaps a brandy or two. Tells a story, doesn't it, that tree? Me and my mum created that masterpiece. Beautiful. Took an astronomical amount of time, I can assure you. One of four this year, but this one is my favourite. The other three are in our dining room. Absolutely beautiful. One of my favourites ever created. Well, what do you think? That tree took some doing, I can tell you. The decorating, and we're not talking hours, probably the best part of two, maybe even three days. Of course, not the whole day, but most most of the time when we're doing it in the afternoon, the evening, time just absolutely flies, as well as getting gifts wrapped, as well as doing the last final bits of Christmas shopping and picking up those last bits for Christmas online. It took quite a long time, but it's absolutely beautiful, and I'm sure you'll agree, a real special centrepiece for Christmas. I really, really hope that whatever tree you've chose, that you've got it in your personal taste, and I'm sure when you look at it, you see what I see in ours. It really sets the scene for Christmas and makes you feel warm and really, really comforting and really, really at home. Christmas is all about family and, of course, the perfect tree. I really, really hope that you have an amazing, amazing festive season and a really Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching and we will see you then. Bye bye now. Very quickly, just before you go, you may notice this little guy in the back here. And it gives me great pleasure to say that this Santa here, and I've actually got another one here as well, and this particular Santa are treasures in my family. 
and they are actually, I'll tell you the reason why, because they're actually absolutely so, so incredible. And you know, it almost melts my heart saying this. These actually belonged to my nan, bless her heart, and my granddad, bless his heart. My granddad actually died 25 years ago on Monday the 16th of December. So every year I take flowers or a wreath or posies and I tend to his grave. I used to do it all the time with my nan. Now my nan can't do that because I look after her and she has Alzheimer's. I still like to try and carry on that tradition. So I usually go with my mum and my uncle. And you know what? That means the world to me. So these two Santas sit in our house every Christmas. And you know, it's, I'm so I'm so proud and so pleased and so and so incredibly chuffed that we have them, and they really do mean the world to us. And to think that I'm 26 and my granddad passed away 25 years ago. These are that old, and they're still going strong, and they're absolutely beloved characters in our family home. And hopefully, as my nieces and nephews grow up and they get older, and they can appreciate them as well. And hopefully, they stay in our family forever. So I just wanted to really capture that. Christmas is such a special time and it really is all about memories and those things which we hold on to in our families and these two items are certainly that. We have one or two other things as well from my nan and my granddad's collection of Christmas things and they're just absolutely cherished and treasured and I really wanted to capture that. So thanks very very much, that means the world to me that I've been able to include that in this clip. Of course, a great Christmas tree is fantastic at Christmas, but do you know what? Fill it with those heartfelt things which you've had from years past. Maybe from your first child, maybe from grandparents, maybe from people who are no longer here, bless them. That's what a Christmas tree is all about as well. Having those past things, those treasured elements, maybe even little pictures in lovely sort of antique frames and things as baubles which you can see. Perhaps year dates which you can have from children's birth name or even those real real lovely ornaments which you which you purchase and they have a story behind that fill it with those memories and those joys and those lovely lovely things which we hold close to our hearts that's what christmas trees are about as well thanks very much for watching and until next time we will see you then merry christmas